So we have some super solid chords. Now let's put rebound on it, just drag it in. And now it's gonna create this sort of LFO sound. And if we start clicking here, it's gonna create this really cool sound. And so think of each of these little dots as a band. So pretend this is like EQ8, right? There are eight bands in EQ8. This is like a 256 band EQ8, right? And we can automate the volume of each band up and down without having to do any automations. It's all done in the plugin because it's like an LFO. And if we do this, you can see it's like a sawtooth LFO, how it just goes down and then it jumps back up to the top and keeps cycling. But with this, if we go to a slow mode, you'll be able to see it comes up and then it goes down. Now this button here um, changes the direction of the LFO, so... You can create some really cool sounds with that. And if you don't want to do it like synced up, you can also click this. And you can also go to the far end of it, which will just make it still. And then you can automate like the LFO position if you want. If you want to create you like your own sort of flow to it. Now let's have a look at the other sort of things. Let's go back to forward and let's go back to sync. Um, let's look at this side here. So what do these do? So if we click this, it's going to create a sine wave shape. Now it's very like high frequency, but if we turn it down in the shape frequency slider, you're going to see it's like a sine wave here. And also I should explain. So we're controlling this blue curve here, right? And this is like offsetting each LFO position. And so there's 256 LFOs. And so this, this sort of a uh, cyan aqua line here is actually um, the EQ curve, right? That's what's creating the movement in the sound. And this blue curve here is like the offset. I hope that makes sense. And so we can go here. This is creating a saw shape. <laughs> We also have a square. And one of the coolest ones is this one here. It's the noise function. It just creates random points. And let's have a listen. You can also continue to just draw from this. So these are like presets for the blue curve. Now let's have a look at what this is. This is the spectral gate. So what this is doing, any time that, um, that the aqua line goes past a certain threshold, it just turns off. So you won't hear any sound. So if we go fully up, notice how we only see like the very few top and it creates this really cool crystally icy sound. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, if you want to reset it, you can just click this here and it'll just take you back to the original. Now let's have a look at the different draw modes here. So this is glitchy. So what happens with glitchy is if I press down here and I hold, it's going to create random, um, it's gonna create the same value in random different bands. And when you draw, it's gonna create these sort of weird shapes that are sort of like unintended, but they sound a lot more crystally and cool. 
if we go back to the normal, I'm going to reset it. You notice now we're just creating really just, you know, it's sort of as intended and it creates a more smooth sound. Let's turn it to triangle. You can also change the mix knob, which is like a dry wet. So yeah, there's that. Okay, now let's look at the motion. So if we slow this down, you can see that the dots are going up and down, up and down, right? Or one way if we choose the sawtooth. So this is because it's set to a downward motion, right? Or up and down motion. But if we change this here, it's gonna start going sideways. And this is gonna sound really chaotic, but kind of cool. Um, but let's just turn it to zero. Now we're not going to hear anything. But if we draw, we're going to start to hear. Now you might notice there's a little bit of like clicking when it hits these low end bands. So what we can do is turn up the smoothing. And it's going to create a smoother sort of sound, sort of like a spectral smearing. And we can also use this on the other mode too. If we go back here, and we turn this up here, instead of instantly muting, when we have this turned up, it's going to create more of a smooth sound. So with it off. All right, but let's go back to this mode here. And yeah, it basically just takes it left and right. And then we can also change the direction. So we can go back or this way. Now triangle is gonna move it like this, right? It's gonna go down. And once it hits there, it's gonna go back up. Um, Sawtooth would just go one direction and it'll just keep wrapping around. So that's that, that's, um, that's pretty much it. You can also do this here. You can create like crazy phases with the uh, sign mode. And let's turn down the smoothing.